Hey everybody, welcome to The Bottom Line. I'm Michael Nolan. Tonight we're going to be talking about Paul Rogers, Paul Rogers of Free, Paul Rogers of Bad Freaking Company, Paul Rogers of The Firm. How about Paul Rogers of Queen? All right? And we're also going to be talking about Paul Rogers, the man. You see, he's had his dealings with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and all I can say, well, Paul Rogers is a personal hero of mine. All right, so back in 2016, we all heard the rumors, even statements from the band, that Bad Company was in the studio or about ready to go into the studio for a brand new album. But you know, life happens, and in the end, we did not get that album. Or did we? Or at least part of that album. I'm talking about Paul Rogers' new album, Midnight Rose, of course. Now, I'm not going to get into that tonight. I've already covered that in a past video, but I did mention that that album sounded a bit like Bad Company, didn't I? On further listenings, I've got to tell you, that album sounds a whole lot like Bad Company. And like I said in that video, how could it not? I mean, you have the lead singer of the band and you have half, at least half, of its writing force. Now, in a recent interview, Paul Rogers was asked if this was the end of Bad Company, and he said no, that he thought Bad Company had a future. When he was further pressed as to whether he was planning to record or do a project with the rest of the band, he said no, there are no planned future projects for the band. So I'm not quite sure what he was trying to imply there, especially when he was indicating there even could be future tours with the band. Now with Mick Ralphs and Paul Rogers, both experiencing a lot of medical issues over the years. And evidently, Mick Ralphs, although he's in good form mentally, he is hospitalized at this point. I'm not sure what he means by touring. Is he talking about touring, playing Bad Company music, and uh, replacing key members? Now, Bad Company has done this several times in their tenure. But when I talk about Bad Company, Bad Company is the four original members, the first six studio albums, all right? And that wonderful uh, late 90s live album that they came up with, providing even a couple of new tracks for us. To me, that's Bad Company. Of course, with the death of Boz, we're not going to get him. So he would have to be replaced, but that only leaves three original members, with two of them in fragile health. And, and that's another thing. Simon Kirk was asked about the Hall of Fame, and we're going to get to that in just a minute. You know, I think in the end, the best we can possibly hope for is a new Bad Company album in the future. Now, Paul Rogers has been one of the most sought out vocalists in rock and roll. He's that good. He's one of my very favorite rock and roll singers out of classic rock. His soulful deliveries, his control of the notes without going gymnastic, America's got a toilet on us, is fabulous, folks. His feel, everything, his delivery, his timbre, all of it makes him a truly great vocalist. And his new album does not disappoint. But you know, he was asked in a recent interview lately why Bad Company isn't in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And his answer was quite illuminating. Now I want to get back to Simon Kirk because he was asked the same question a couple of years ago and he said, I don't know. Something is in the pipeline there. Something's clogging it up, but I'm not really aware of what it is. Well, guess what? Evidently, it was Paul Rogers all along. You see, Ahmet Erdogan had gotten a hold of him early when the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame was just kind of getting formed and he wanted Bad Company into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And Paul Rogers asked him, 
what's a, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? He says, it's going to be a museum. It's going to represent the greatest acts in rock and roll. He replied, whoa, no way, man. Rock and roll shouldn't belong in a museum. It should live. I love his whole response. Now, according to him, he was asked several times if he would go ahead and accept a nomination, and he turned it down every single time. Oh, now, you know why the man's a hero of mine. But what amazes me is how the rest of the band was kept kind of out of this line of communication, right? I think that once Ahmet knew that Paul wasn't interested in it, that that was it. He wasn't going to get the band that he wanted to induct. Now that gets us back to Paul Rogers' new album, Midnight Rose. I think what we got with that album is the stuff he would have offered. Maybe there's a few extra newer tunes on it. After all, he's got an entire album here compared to, although short one, I have to say, uh, compared to what uh, Bad Company would have produced proper. But I think Midnight Rose was Paul Rogers' offerings for that album. Now, folks, if you haven't heard this album and you love Bad Company, what are you waiting for, man? It's great. It's a little more pedestrian in places, but in other places, just as ass-kicking, straightforward rock and roll as anything Bad Company ever offered. Now, I even did a video on Steve Miller uh, and him standing up to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But you know what? My new, brand new hero, the greatest knight to fight the dragon of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is Paul Rogers in my book. Now, here's my question to the tribe tonight, folks, and I want to hear from you. Have you heard of others that have turned this hall down flat? Others besides just Steve, and, and actually Steve accepted. He complained after the fact. That's why Paul Rogers, to me, yeah, man, knight in shining armor, folks. But who else have you heard that have stood up to this insidious thing. All right, I hope you enjoyed tonight's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps the YouTube algorithm better activate the video to a wider audience and all of that. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel as of yet, that's easy. All you have to do is hit the subscribe to the tribe button, tap that top bell icon, and you'll be notified of all of my future videos. All right, folks. I'm Michael Nolan, this is The Bottom Line, and together folks, you and I, we are the tribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.